Hey guys, welcome to the first haul of 2022. I am so happy that you're here. Thank you for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Donnie. I hope you love what you see and I hope you subscribe, turn on your post notifications and you leave your comments below before you leave. Today, as I said, I am going to be sharing with you a, I guess you could say somewhat of a collective haul. I am also going to be sharing with you some Christmas gifts that I got. I'm sharing it with you because some of the items were actually on my Black Friday wish list. <laughs> and my family members, they were really watching those videos. So they grabbed the things that I didn't get for myself um, during Black Friday. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I grabbed, I got some really good deals. So I wanted to share it with you just so you can keep an eye out in case you were in the market for some of these items. So let's get on to the video. The first Christmas gift that I got is one that I have spoken about <laughs> so much and it's my humidifier. So this is it. And I actually didn't get one. I got two of them for Christmas. This one is the larger version. And then this one, as you can see, this is like, it's the smaller version. And let me show you. So this is more for, you know, like on your desk. I have not opened this one yet, but I have used this one. So this one, it's so far so good. The only thing which I wasn't aware of in um, previous videos, I mentioned that I had essential oils. So I thought I was able to put essential oils in this, but for this one, I don't know if it's just this brand. They specifically said not to add essential oils to it. So you just get like a mist. Um, in case you were in the market for a humidifier, the only thing that I would say um, to be, I guess like aware of is, so you basically, this is how it is and it comes apart and you unscrew this you add your water and then you put it back right so it's wherever you have it sitting but the only thing that you have to be aware of so the water when you put it down like this it collects in here so it still has a little bit so it collects in here and it doesn't it's just sitting like this so it isn't sealed on anything so it has happened to me <laughs> twice already so i accidentally knocked this over and then the water spilled out from here so that's the only thing um to be aware of but other than that so far so good so i was so happy <laughs> to get my humidifier finally because if you see my black friday haul i've been speaking about this thing all 2021 I was doing so much research trying to find the perfect one or the one that I thought was the perfect one based on the reviews I didn't get around to it I got it for Christmas which I was really happy about with those two humidifiers I also got a pot I know <laughs> I know I love all um, kitchen appliances kitchen gadgets they're my thing so I got this pot and let me show you what it looks like on the no the story behind this part so i was in tj maxx with this person and i was just looking at these pots and i love i think these pots are so beautiful so I, I i said oh that's a really nice pot i didn't even think anything about it so i was surprised when i actually saw that i got it this for me is like the perfect soup pot i actually made my on the 2nd of January, so the day after um, New Year's, I made a pot of pea soup with my ham bone. It was so good. So I already I already um, used this pot and I really like it. I find it, it looks so good. And this color is like a, almost like a blush pink. So a really light pink. I think it is beautiful. And then it has, that's not real wood, but it's like wood-like handle. And this is, master class premium cookware i love this thing it's so beautiful so i'm so happy that i got this the next kitchen gadget that i got which that this wasn't a gift i just eventually bought it so i had to order some mason jars some tall mason jars from walmart online and they have a 35 dollar minimum <laughs> for shipping 
for free shipping, you have to spend $35 or more. So I just decided to grab everything that I needed instead of grabbing some and then paying shipping. So I finally got the hands-free automatic can opener. So I got it finally. I also spoke about this in my wish list video and yeah i'm just excited to use this i i've seen this for a while and then i i think i mentioned that my sister has one and it's so effortless i finally grabbed myself this so i have the manual can opener i have there's another one that you have to hold it down and it opens the can i have that one but i just don't have space to have it on my countertop so it's kind of it's a hassle every time i need to use it i have to go and take it out of the box so I just like leave it to the side so i finally have this one so this should make my life so the next item i am i was so surprised when i got this <laughs> and it is an ice cream maker so i mentioned in my black friday haul the ninja version that i saw i said i didn't need it but clearly one of my family members thought that i needed it so this is the by cuisinart and this is their ice cream maker and as you can see i have not opened it as yet but i plan on filming a an unboxing and actually showing you me using it to make some ice cream i am so happy to get this thing um you can make let's see So I already looked at the booklet that it came with to see some of the recipes. So you can make ice cream, you can make frozen yogurt, and you can make sorbet with this. I am so happy to get this. I am so happy to actually <laughs> use this to experiment with um, different types of um, ice creams and sorbets. So I'll definitely do an unboxing and show you how I use it those were some of the the gifts that i got for christmas so i'm going to get into the items that i purchased just since i've i have done a haul and i thought they were um good to share just in case you were maybe in new york or you go to some of these stores in your area maybe you can look out for it so the first thing that i got this is from target and i went to get some um, storage containers and i saw this and i thought it was a, a pretty good price so this is a three pack and these what are they called they're called medium storage trays and they buy room essentials i believe this is a target brand room essentials so this is what they look like they're like like a silicone uh, material and this three pack was on sale for, it was on clearance for $1.40. The original price was $2. So I just grabbed it because sometimes I need small containers. So I'm like, why not? Usually I would just grab these from Dollar Tree, but to get three for $1.40, I thought that was a good deal. Then I always mention um, that we have a Primark in Brooklyn. So in Kings Plaza Mall, there's a Primark. So every time I go to the mall, I always just walk through Primark to see what clearance they have. Because as I mentioned, they, their items are already reasonably priced. At least I think they're reasonably priced. And then they always have something on clearance. So one thing that I grabbed recently is this mat. And I'll open it so you can see. So it's basically like a front door mat. So you know, it's that um look this is the material and i thought it looked nice i think i paid i got rid of the um the price that was on it but i it was either three or five dollars i thought it was a good price for a mat um considering the quality and it was a, a good size so i grabbed that as well the next items i grabbed while i was in primark when i grabbed that mat and it is so i got this belt the original price was six dollars then it went on sale for five dollars and then they reduced it to three dollars this is what it looks like so it has this really big bottle which i love and it's long it's so long <laughs> so this is how long it is so i grabbed this i thought this would be good you know like if you have a dress that you want to build i thought this would be really good because it's nice and big so it's like you know like a nice little statement belt i had one but 
it's <laughs> it's no longer it's gone gone so i decided to grab this and i just got the large um because you know i just put it on this was the one that fit with some space so i grabbed this i thought this was a really good deal now this item so when i saw this in the store initially i was like mm, this doesn't really make any sense and then i went back and i'm like i kind of like it <laughs> for the price i'll give it a try i feel like i can make it work so this was originally ten dollars and it was on clearance for five and i think it's a one size fits all yeah it's a one size fits all so it's this like this item but it's the one that's open so it's just <laughs> open i know i'm like it kind of doesn't make sense but i kind of like it and i think i could work with it so this is what it looks like i got the gray one and the back is just plain and i know this would look so good with you know like a white shirt like a nice white oversized shirt put this on and i know zara i believe had similar ones that were so pricey so i was like let me pick it up so as i said i paid five dollars so i was happy to pay five dollars for it and i'm going to try to make it work i think i can make it work i was also thinking that it would look nice with like a dress like a really nice dress i don't know i had something in mind when i bought it so i'm gonna see what i come up with primark also had a few of their christmas items on sale so i grabbed two of them the first one of these craft bowls and this is a 16 count. I took the, the price off, the clearance price, but this was $2.50 and it was on clearance for a dollar. So I grabbed I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed the they had some gift tags. This is a 20 pack, and this was on sale for 50 cents. So I grabbed that. And why I got them because the color. I love the color um probably th this you probably couldn't use no maybe not the star i guess depending on the team but these bows i one i i have bows but i have those large bows i thought this would be good for like gifts if you have like smaller gifts look at how cute this is so it there's this color this brown one and then this red one that it's i think it's neutral enough that you don't have to use it during christmas only and since as i said i have bigger bows i figured this would be good you know if you have a small gift you can just put it on it so this item i got from bj's the last time i went there so this was i paid 13 dollars 99 for this I don't remember what the original price was, but it was on um, sale for that price. And I know this, these can be so expensive. I looked on Amazon and I know this was actually a really good deal. And it's these anti-slip, anti-slip rubberized hangers. So it's these hangers, you know, those hangers that kind of have like that suede, <laughs> suede S material and i got 35 a total of 35 hangers and as i said they were 13.99 i thought that was a really good deal because i know on amazon like 20 of these can run you easily like 30 dollars so i just grabbed the pack and they only had the gray ones i don't mind the color so, I so that's all of the home items the homeware items let's get into some beauty items beauty clothing all that good stuff so the first place that i ordered from i saw a post on my instagram on one of those couponing pages that i i follow and they posted this deal and i thought it was a really good deal no i am not a makeup guru i <laughs> literally i'm just like give me five minutes i'll do my makeup real quick i don't do anything special but i, I want to improve you know so I saw that they posted this deal from Morphe and I know everybody talks about um, Morphe, their palettes, their brushes are so good. Um, I use e.l.f. brushes that I got like for $4 and the, the bristles are starting to fall out. So I'm like, okay, let me see what they have. But I also don't want a brush that's like too expensive because I'm like, I don't do my makeup that often. So I don't really think it's necessary, but I got, this is the only brush that they had on sale that was inexpensive and since i'm trying to work on my makeup i was like let me just grab it so this brush is the m453 crease blender 
eyeshadow brush this is what it looks like it's just this tiny brush and it was on sale for a dollar and forty cents the original price was eight dollars so i grabbed that then i decided to grab one of their eyeshadow palettes because i know people rave about their eyeshadow palettes so i got the 3 35s sweet oasis palette this is the box that it came in and this i have my laptop here so i can give you the accurate prices so the original price for this palette was $24 and it was on sale for $6.50. <laughs> so I was like, I am going to grab this palette, definitely. Let me show you what it looks like because the colors are so beautiful. So it just came very well protected. And of course, it has the same colors as the box take off this protector and these are the colors how beautiful are these colors right so i am hoping <laughs> to get into doing a little eyeshadow and i have those individual quads but i thought that it was a good idea just to have you know one palette with all of the colors in one where i could just you know do my thing i have to go and look at a lot of youtube videos but i thought i should give it a try so that's the other item that I grabbed. Beauty item. So this item I got recently. I've seen it in my CVS forever. It, of course, it was a coupon in fine. But when I tell you this thing smells so good. So it's by the brand Paparazzi. So I have a lot of their nail polishes. But they also have, this is a hand nail and cuticle cream. And it has keratin and calcium. And this is the lavender coconut. This is what it looks like this thing smells amazing <laughs> i tried it and i was like oh my goodness this thing smells so good so i am not sure where else this brand sells i've only seen it at cvs so if you see it anywhere else trust me give this a try and let me know what you think this at my cvs is 2.99 i know for this little and this is a one ounce <laughs> tube this is 2.99 they had this one i just bought two more so i bought another one of these and i bought like a mango is the other one i haven't opened it i'll try that one they had like a green tea but i wasn't i was like no a green tea mm, i don't know how that's gonna smell but this lavender coconut one smells really good then i also grabbed some hair products don't you dare judge me <laughs> there's a story so after black friday a lot of these um companies they had sales throughout the month of december trust me I had to I had to hide my old my debit card. I had I was going on these sites, I was looking at the products, I was putting stuff in my shopping cart. I had to convince myself not to purchase anything. Some of them even they had a sale, they would have like a one day sale and it was extended. But I exercised restraint. However, this one I could not pass up on this deal. I just could not. So you've heard me talk about curl box all the time. And they have had, last year, they have had a lot of non-subscription boxes. So this box was a non-subscription box. It was on the website for months. And I was like, mm, not really interested in it. And I was like, I think it was there for $12. Even for $12, I was like, don't really need it. You know, whatever. I was just looking over. But I think for 12 days... A lot of um, companies had like that 12 days um, leading up to Christmas. They were doing sales. Um, Curl box, they were having sales, like a particular sale every day. When this sale hits, because I am also under the, the, I also get notifications via text, which is dangerous. <laughs> but I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. This is, I got one, two, three, five items this box was on sale for one dollar one dollar i had to pay shipping which was five dollars so I, I paid six dollars for five items and i was like i cannot pass this up like i have to get it i mean six dollars for five items these products are already inexpensive but i can pay probably six dollars for one so i was like for six dollars i'll take five this is so it's the cream of nature brand 
and this is what was in the box so the first item was from their pure honey line and this is a moisture and twist curling mousse and it said that it's for dry dehydrated hair it has pure honey rich coconut oil creamy shea butter so this came in the box so i got this mousse and i think this box was geared um towards like scalp care this is also from the pure honey line and this is a scalp refresh and it's an invigorating scalp oil and it has pure honey conditioning aloe and cooling mint so this was in the box as well then it came with a scalp ref scalp refresh and this is a cleansing scalp treatment and this one also has honey aloe and cooling mint so this is basically like a almost like a shampoo but then it also came with a restorative daily scalp cream and let's see it says it's for dry scalp and protective styles so this is what it looks like and it's this how big is this this is a 4.7 ounce container so it came with this and then it also came with this is from the aloe and black castor oil line and this is the anti-breakage overnight treatment and it has conditioning aloe jamaican black castor oil and um it said that it's vitamin infused and this is what this one looks like and this is also that 4.7 ounce container y'all for six dollars i cannot pass this up those are the hair products that i grabbed this next haul has to be one of the better hauls i've done of course other than getting items free this was so so good so i wanted to share it with you i got items from gap banana republic and old navy you know they're all um under the same basically the family of stores so i got from those three places i got nine items and it was 184 dollars and 81 cents I saved $182.58. So out of my own pocket, I paid $2.23. Like, how crazy is that? Basically, I paid $0.24 cents per item. When I show you everything that I got, <laughs> trust me, you're going to be like, how? So let me tell you... Um, let me tell you how I was able to get everything so cheap. So, of course, I'm a Gap Reward member, Gap and Old Navy. Um, I always, any store that I um, I go into, even if I don't shop there very often, if they have a reward program, I usually sign up for it. Because sometimes you just never know. You might go in one day, find something that you like. Um, a lot of these stores, they also give you money to come and spend there. You know what I mean? So I just always sign up for it. So I have, and I also have a Gap um, credit card. So with Gap, you get, um, you know, if you spend 50, you get back five, things like that. And they also have something that they implemented, I believe it was last year, where they have these promotions that go on throughout the year. So you make a purchase and they'll give you a coupon to use at a later date. So it might be like $10, but it would be like $10 off 25, which I hated. But they started doing something that was really good recently, which is it's called Gap Cash. So Gap Cash and Old Navy Cash. So if you have Gap Cash and let's say you don't use it by during that period that it was valid for, you can now convert your gap cash to points so basically if it's like twenty dollars in um gap cash you convert that to points and it may i am not sure what the um the exact conversion is but you get probably like twenty dollars worth of um what a reward i think it's called like reward money that reward cash that you can use later so throughout the year that's what I did. I was like, oh, okay. I convert. I just kept converting it. So I had $73 in reward cash. Then I had a $5 um, in rewards that I had. I think I had that since the beginning of the year. And it was expiring on the 31st of December. So I wanted to use it because I didn't want to lose it. And I don't have, I don't have a Gap store near me. 
so i went online because gap is always having a sale i do not ever pay full price for anything on gap because they always have an additional 50 percent off their clearance items sometimes they have an additional 60 percent off so they were actually having a 60 percent off an additional 60 percent off of their clearance items and as i said i wanted to use that five dollars so I'm always, I always have all these apps that I have. I always have stuff in my like my shopping bag. I always favorite item, items that I like. I have a lot of jeans from Gap. Gap has really good jeans, but it's also pricey. At least for me, I think it's pricey. Their jeans are like $80, depending on the jean that you want. So I went, I was just looking through the website. I saw that they had an additional 60% off. So I was like, okay, let me find something so that I can use my $5. So I found these items and I used my $5 in rewards plus that $73 that I told you. So that was $78 that I had plus the 60% off of the items. So that's, that is how I got, basically I got everything for 24 cents each. <laughs> and I actually looked out because there was a jacket, so you know those shirt jackets that are like really popular they they had one that i wanted i had it in my um shopping bag but because i stayed so long with the, with everything in it by the time i was ready to check out it was sold out and i mistakenly bought two pairs of the same jean without knowing it so i know but i'll tell you the original price of the items that i got i'll show you everything let me go over to the side i actually leave um pictures of the models from the site so that you'll see um the items i ended up making two orders so the first one was the one that was two dollars and 23 cents and then i placed a second order for a jeans jacket and that was 22 dollars for the jeans jacket so i'll show you that one first i sat on this so long trying to decide if i should really get this jeans jacket because i have a few jeans jackets however i don't have any of them in this wash so i decided to get it i'll tell you the ones that i have so this is what it looks like let me show you and i'll also include a picture but this is the wash so you see that wash and it's just plain it just has the buttons of course this and then it has a button on right here i tried it on i got so this is um, an oversized jacket so I got a medium and it's still oversized because with this sweatshirt that I have on I tried it on and it doesn't feel bulky it still has a little bit of room so I got the medium of course because it was oversized and this was originally let me tell you the original price this was originally $90 so this jacket was originally $89.95 it was on clearance for $54.99 and as I said I had the 60% off so this was my second order just had 60% off the final price that I paid was $22 I have a few jackets so I have a jacket that's this similar wash but it has a Mickey Mouse on the back so like I I can't really wear it everywhere I would say I think with the Mickey Mouse on the back at least for me I would only wear it you know like certain places like this one I think I, it's more versatile because it doesn't have like Mickey Mouse or anything then I have a lighter wash that I got from Gap it's probably like three years ago it's um a lot lighter and it's distressed that's the jacket that I have on. If you look at the beginning of my video in that picture, that's the jacket that I have on. So I grabbed this one. The only thing about this jacket when I tried it on, I have to say the sleeves are a little short. So this stop, the sleeves, you see here, the sleeves stop right here for that jacket for me. I wish they were a little longer, but usually I roll my jacket up so it's not going to be a big deal. But I just wish uh, just a little longer if it came like right here but it stops right here where this um sweater stops so that's the first thing i got so 22 dollars so the next item i have is this top it's called this is a garment dyed button front no peak cabbie top and it's the color is lost at sea navy wash the original price for this was 30 dollars so 29.99 it was on sale before the 60 percent for 12 dollars and 97 cents 
and I got it in a large. I've had this in my shopping bag forever. I liked it online. So this is what it looks like. And then it has like a little gathering. You see this on the back. And these buttons actually, so the buttons in the front, they open. I tried it on, oh, and I wanted to show you this. So this, the strap is also adjustable, which is good. So it has like two slots here, or you can make it looser. So I tried it on. I have to say, I am not in love with it. It has, I love that baby doll style, but I think because of how it sits like on the breast area, it looks a little weird, but I'm not going to return it because as I said, I paid 24 cents for it. So I'll keep it and I'll try and find a way to make it work. But that was the first item that I got. So this was actually from Old Navy. Then I got some bodysuits. So I have one bodysuit. <laughs> I have one bodysuit and have I even, I don't even think I've even worn that. I, I have worn that thing. I got it years ago from Rainbow. But I saw that these two items I got from Banana Republic. And they're the scoop neck thong bodysuit. And they come in different colors. So these are basically, they're basically nude for dark, um, darker skin tone, tones. And uh, they were so gorgeous. I had to grab them. So the first one I got, um, let's see. So these are, I got them in medium because they're on the thick side. And they're, they're supposed to be those bodysuits that um, like suck you in. So I didn't want to get it too large. So I got medium in both of them. Let me show you. So the the colors are pretty, they're pretty close. <laughs> Let me see if you can see the difference actually. Let me put them together. So I don't know. Yeah, you can see. So you see this one is a little lighter and then this one is darker. I wanted one that was, you know, kind of close to my complexion. So I got like the darker one, but I got these two. So it's, this is what it looks like. Let me see. And as you can see, it's a tongue one and it has a scoop neck and it is, it's double lined, which I like, as you can see. So it's double lined, so it's really thick. It's nice and thick. You can definitely cannot see through. So I got the two colors that I got. The lighter one is called Hue 170. Then I also got and Hue 182. So I grabbed those and as I said, did I tell you the price? So the original price was $34.50. They were on clearance before the 60% off for $19.99. So these tops I got in four <laughs> colors and these are muscle t-shirts. I, I have been eyeing these since they came out. I think like last year or the year before last, they were really popular and I just haven't gotten any. So. I got them all in medium because they looked a bit oversized. Honestly, they did not have the best reviews on the website. <laughs> a lot of people did not like them. But what made me still buy them? One, they were really inexpensive. And since I wanted to try it, I was like, okay, I'll try it because, you know, they're, they're inexpensive. And the reviews also said that the shoulder pads are removable. So I was like, okay, if I don't like them with the shoulder pads, I could just take the shoulder pads out and wear them. So I got four. So there are these, oh, can you see it? These t-shirts that have that shoulder pad. I tried some on, two of them on before this video. And I have to say with the shoulder pads, it looks very American football-esque. They were all the same price. So the original price for these were $29.95. They were on clearance for $7.97 before the 60% off. This one is called Raspberry Pink Glaze. But this color, which I thought was really lovely. Of course, I had to grab a white one. I got black. <laughs> and then I got this army green. Let me show you. So I got this army green. And to take them out, which... You see it just has a slit and you can literally just remove the shoulder pad yeah so i thought that was good and then you can just have it you know, just like a plain old shirt 
so that's why i grabbed them so i grabbed those four t-shirts final item i got i told you i accidentally got two pairs and they're jeans so these are the sky high rise true skinny jeans with wash well and the color is light beach bleach blue they were originally 69.95 they were on sale for $49.99 before the 60% off and I got the long version. I don't know if it's just me but recently I've found that a lot of places that make jeans, they're making them so short. So in the winter, I'm like, my ankle is outside, you know what I mean? So I this is, one, this is the wash and this one and it just has a little distressing on one knee. So you see like one knee just has a distress in it doesn't have it's really plain really simple and as i said it's a high rise and i got it in the long so i'm hoping that it comes all the way down to my ankle <laughs> because i am over these short jeans as i said i love gap jeans but they're 70 dollars i do not pay more than i would say like 25 dollars for gap jeans because they're always on sale so i grabbed that i grabbed as you as i said i have two pairs i may give one to my sister i'll see if she wants one but that's everything that i got on in this gap sale i wanted to share this gap sale with you as i said just in case you were looking for you know maybe jeans or um you didn't know where to get jeans i would definitely recommend gap but i also wanted to share it with you because i as I always say, I prefer not to pay full price if I don't have to. Of course, if I have to pay full price, I will. If it's something that I need. But like for items like this, I Gap always has a seal. So I just always... I also get their emails, <laughs> which is probably dangerous. But I just check. I just go on the website. I'm always browsing. I just browse. I'm like, oh, this, one, this is a nice jeans. I'll put it... I'll add it to my favorites. And then I'll just check up because it all they always go on sale. So why pay full price when you can just wait until it's on sale you know what i mean so those are all of the items that i got at gap as i said i think i got a really really good deal and i just thought that i'll just do like you know like a casual chat with you so for this year i wanted to know like what type of videos do you want to see from me let me know in the comment section so i um i have some ideas in mind but since you're watching them, like, what would you like to see from me? So I'm thinking to do my hair videos. Maybe, like, the curl boxes, if I get, like, an entire product line, I can do a wash day, a wash and style with that entire line so you can see how it works. Because, like, you know, different products work differently on different hair types. So I can do that. I still want to do my... um monthly grocery hauls those grocery hauls where i go to so many stores i hope you enjoy those videos <laughs> so i still want to do that those hair videos you know i have gotten into last year at the beginning of last year i got into wash and go so i want to try a few wash and go combinations as well as my the usual my twist out using some of the products in my stash that i have never touched i also want to try a few new styles so Y'all, I have wanted to try a perm rod set for so long, but my patience to do those types of styles, I have tried so far like twice and I get to like row two in my hair and I'm like over it <laughs> because my hair is so thick. It doesn't stay on the rod. Oh my gosh. <sighs> but I really want to try them because I always see, um, I've seen a few youtubers do them and i'm like oh my gosh it looks so beautiful but to do it on my hair i'm like oh how long is this thing going to take me but i really want to try it so you see i got some mousse and i know mousse is really good for those styles so i want to give it a try i'm also thinking like i can do i've mentioned this before i love trying different cuisines i love going out to eat we like to try something different i enjoy cooking but honestly you know sometimes you just want to go and have somebody else cook for you so I'm thinking maybe I can do, if not once a month, maybe like once every few months, maybe like once every two months or three months, depending on, you know, how often I go. Because, you know, the numbers are rising, so we don't know what's going to happen. 
but um if i try a new restaurant i can take you along with me show you you know the ambience let you know my thoughts on the food maybe customer service kind of like a review let me know if you'll be interested in something like that because i know when i look at youtube videos from people who either visit new york or they live in new york and they go to a restaurant and if i see their food i usually go and look up the restaurant you know i look at the reviews i look at the menu and then i i'll save it to you know that, that app yelp where you can look at the reviews i'll save it to my yelp um app i have a section called like places to try and places that i've tried i have it on the i have another tab that's like um must return or you know like places that i like so let me know if you'd be interested in something like that i'm also thinking like sometimes i go into i have this tj maxx that i absolutely love they always have such great items and i'm like oh this would be nice to kind of do like a browse with me so you know what's in those stores or just stores that i go to um let's see what else i also still want to share with you my curl box actually <laughs> for um i am looking forward to seeing what they have this year coming in curl boxes let's see what else we can do so you know the hair videos my cooking videos maybe um, those cooking videos I do ever so often because you know to move the camera around and cook but I definitely enjoy cooking and I love sharing that type of stuff with people as you've seen from like my videos like one of the I would say two two of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel one it was my hair like I would always get so many questions like what do you have in your hair what do you use in your hair so I was like why not share it because you know sometimes you go i know for me for some of the products that i have i'll go on youtube to see um how somebody else used it and sometimes you don't see you may not see individuals who have similar hair types um as you so i think it's always good you know just to see how the product works on different hair types and um let's see what else yeah that's kind of all that all the things that i can think of but let me know what you would like to see from me and i'll try my best to deliver <laughs> that's it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the deals that i grabbed over the last few weeks don't forget to stay tuned um and i'll share with you the i'll unbox the ice cream maker and we'll make some ice cream together i don't know what kind i'm going to make yet but we'll decide that later remember to leave me your comments letting me know what type of what types of videos you would like to see from me turn on those post notifications and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one